What's up everyone, John V here from Phone Arena. You're watching our in-depth video review of the BlackBerry Torch 9850 for Sprint. It's RIM's third attempt at the full touchscreen form factor, but let's hope this time around they manage to get things right. Initially, we weren't too fond of the handset's design just because it didn't feel quite as premium compared to the Storm or Storm 2, but after a while it kind of grew on to us. We like the fact that it sports some of those classic Blackberry elements with its design approach. We like also the chrome trim around the handset, it just gives it a little bit of a prominence. On top of that, you have a metallic back cover that's covered in that soft touch coating. It's made of plastic, attracts a lot of fingerprints, but nevertheless, it's still a decent looking handset. One of the more noteworthy things about the Torch 9850 is that it sports the largest and highest resolution screen to grace a BlackBerry smartphone so far. 3.7 inch capacitor touchscreen with uh, WVGA resolution, so that's 40 by 800 pixels. Very sharp, brilliant looking. We like the high contrast, good amount of detail. Viewing angles are more than acceptable too, and it's definitely something that stands out. Easily washing away some of the uninvited memories we had with the original Storm, the Torch 9850 sports a significantly faster 1.2 GHz single core processor with 768 megabytes of RAM and you can definitely show its speediness right here on the home screen as we're navigating across the app panel from simple operations to complex things um, even opening up applications not a problem with the handset you could tell just the sense of speed that it embodies and it's definitely one of the highlights about the handset. We definitely dig the speediness of the platform experience, but on the whole, OS 7 just leaves us desiring for more, and it doesn't really change over OS 6. The home screen is laid out in typical fashion as before. You have the app panel, which you can resize to different lengths, and within the home screen, you have access to things like the search function, the um, connectivity options, and also these profile selections. As far as personalization is concerned, you're just limited to changing the background wallpaper and the placement of the icons. We'd just like to see RIM spruce things up just a bit better adapted for the full touchscreen format. When it comes to speed typing, we have to watch our rate of input just because with the portrait style QWERTY keyboard, the layout's kind of cramped, but luckily though, you could tell it's very responsive to the touch. Obviously, flipping over to landscape's the best experience just because it offers a lot more room for your fingers and the experience is much better. Naturally, with its larger display, there's less scrolling needed to view emails, which is pretty nice. But uh, other than that, there's nothing really different about the experience, just because it's very typical of any other BlackBerry smartphone. There's still traits of features like an easy setup process and also push support. But aside from that, it's still missing out on things like threaded conversations. Hands down, the BlackBerry Torch 9850 is probably the best BlackBerry smartphone when it comes to web browsing, and it goes to show the kind of improvements that we see at a RIMS camp in this category. With its speedy processor and also liquid graphics technology on board, it provides a sensual experience. You could tell just uh, with uh, different operations, it's very quick and responsive. It doesn't offer flash support, but even without that, it's more than usable. Running the music player, we're great with the same exact interface found with uh, OS 6. Nothing's different about it. We do like the CoverFlow-esque cover flow type look to it. Definitely pleasing to the eye. Good presentation. It's still missing out on a mini player, which would be useful. But as far as the audio quality, it produces some neutral tones. Not the strongest. It's pretty much average. Again, the Torch 9850 sh shines brightly when it comes to video watching just because of its brilliant looking display and large size. It's ideal. The video we have here is encoded in DivX 1280 by 720 resolution. A lot of good detail, moving at a good rate, and no slowdown whatsoever, so the experience is more than acceptable. Even with its 5 megapixel autofocus camera in the rear, we wouldn't recommend printing out anything larger than 4x6 shots with the camera, with the camera's results, just because overall quality is not the best out there. Specifically in outdoor conditions, it produces some soft looking details, and sometimes it can look a little bit overexposed, but we do like the natural color production it offers. Indoors though, it kind of goes downhill. It has a lot of uh, digital noise and also graininess to the shot. The LED flash has a decent job illuminating the scenery, but it tends to leave the images looking overexposed. We're glad to see that 720p video recording is on board with the Torch 9850, but the same issues that we found with the still image, image capture is found again here with the video capture. In fact, uh, it just produces some soft looking details, and every now and then it might look overexposed, and in low lighting conditions you could forget about it just because there's just an abundance amount of digital noise and graininess to the shot. It does shoot at a consistent rate of 30 frames per second, so it looks pretty smooth, and we do like the fact that it has continuous autofocus and clear audio recording. 
When it comes to calling quality, we do find some issues with the handset. First of all, there's some hiss that's heard through the earpiece itself, and voices are shrill in tone on both ends of the line. With uh, the speakerphone, it sounds decent in the middle setting, but when you crank it up all the way to the loudest volume setting, it tends to muffle voices. Being a global smartphone and all, we do notice some issues with signal strength when the handset's set to global mode. We just notice a lot more fluctuation going on. However, it doesn't happen as much when we have it to, when we have it set to connect to either a CDMA only network or a GSM one. Battery life is surprisingly good with this all touchscreen BlackBerry smartphone. In fact, uh, with normal usage, which prim primarily consists of texting, emailing, and web surfing, we managed to get a good solid day's use, but it's still something you want to charge nightly. Apparently, a third time is a charm for Trim this time around just because they finally succeeded in producing a decent uh, full touchscreen offering with the BlackBerry. And honestly, it's a nice offering, especially for $150 on contract. We definitely like that it doesn't offer any of those gimmicky screens with the Storm handsets before it. But when compared to some of its competition out there, other touchscreen smartphones from the Android camp or even the iPhone 4, it kind of pales into comparison, mainly because of the platform experience and also the hard Hardware specs isn't the most up to date out there, but still, it's a respectable offering. So, if you'd like to learn more about the BlackBerry Torch 9850, you can check out our website, phonereina.com. Thanks for watching, everyone.